and welcome back for Hunting Mirage's vlog number 21. I have come of age as a vlogger. This one's for May 25, 2020. And what's going on this week is that uh, I have gotten deeply into Bitwig controller scripting uh, because I wanted to try to see if I could do something that I'd been trying to do with Ableton Live for 10 years now and could never quite achieve. And this is about um, you know, developing a good uh, uh, live looping workflow. And even though uh, I'm not that interested in being a performing live looping artist, I really want it for um, workflow when I'm actually composing to be able to quickly write and lay down um, material while I'm playing my keyboard. Now, I have the launch pad for this, and a lot of people would say, hey, get a launch pad, that's great. You know, and it does have a lot of the features that you want, like being able to move between scenes and launch clips and choose different tracks, etc. But the problem with the launch pad is that I play keyboard, and when I play keyboard, it needs both hands. And often I need both hands, like, at the beginning, like for the full length of while I'm recording a clip, I need both hands on the keyboard. And so I can't be pushing buttons on the launch pad to control the operation of, of recording clips while I'm also playing the keyboard with both hands. And it's, it's been really frustrating for me, you know, and I've, I've tried like developing workflows where, you know, I write, you know, I'm writing on the keyboard such that I always end up with a free hand at the end of the passage. And it's just really unsatisfying. I mean, it's not, um, it's just not a great way to work. And so many, many years ago, I bought a Keith McMillan soft step um, in order to uh, give me all these buttons so that I could program them to, um, or I could map them to do these, these things that I need to do. Uh, like, for example, you know, I really want to have a, a, a button at my foot so that for whatever sound I'm currently playing, which is, you know, what, whichever tracks are currently armed on the selected scene, when I push the button, it starts recording a clip in that scene for those armed tracks. And then when I push the button again, it finishes recording the clip and starts looping and playing those clips. And then I'd like to also be able to change scenes. and um, Or another one that I really need is... If I mess it up while I'm recording, I need to be able to push another button that deletes the one I just recorded, and then at the next, the end of the next bar, it starts recording another clip in the same slot. And these were things I could just never actually get to do with Ableton Live um, for various reasons. Um, basically, you know, record, you know, start recording an arm track. Uh, sorry, start recording a clip on any armed track on the currently selected scene is not a function that you can map to a button. And there's also no way in Ableton Live to map like a, a sequence of things to, to one button. And so I dove into it this week with Bitwig and Bitwig continues to deliver because within one week of learning about scripting, I've been able to program those things into uh, a control script that I'm now using with this foot pedal, which is awesome. So. Um, you know, with this foot pedal, I have, um, you know, I've got my page I already talked about where I can choose sounds. So this is like choosing sound one, two, three, four on the currently armed track. And then I can switch to another page, which I've called the loop page. Uh, and then I can push this button to start recording. And I can push it again to, to finish recording and start playing that clip. Or I can push this one to re-record, uh, which deletes the clip that I was recording and starts recording another one, you know, if I've you know, made a mistake and I, and I want to discard the clip. And then I've started to program some other buttons as well, such as changing scene up, down, etc. And I'm super excited about actually finally being able to use this. Um, I bought this like nearly 10 years ago and it is sat in a cupboard because I could never get it to actually do what I wanted and it's no fault of the soft step it's a great device but it was the fault of Ableton Live because it's not possible to program something to actually do those kind of macro features whereas Bitwig having a public API that's that's scriptable actually makes it possible so I'm super excited about that and you know I could map all of these same features onto buttons on my keyboard here wherever I want to have those features available and those those like sort of macro functions I can I can map it and that works. 
Uh, so that's really great. The other thing I've been doing is I've been sort of pulling apart my booth a bit. Um, you can't really see it because, you know, that this is quite a tight shot, but I've pulled down a lot of the walls and I've been, um, you know, redesigning how I'm going to hang the banner and what have you so that I can sort of make the scene look a bit more like how I want it, get things a bit wider so it's not such a, a tight shot in order to, you know, exclude bits that I don't want people to see because it just looks like crap. But uh, that's what I'm doing this week. Just a quick one this week. Thanks very much for watching. You know, like and subscribe if you want to keep up with uh, what I'm doing with this music project because things are really getting exciting. And thanks very much for watching. Cheers.